Let me start this with a question. How many of you remember the first book you ever read at a library? I have loved reading and writing all my life. Ever since I could open my eyes, thanks to my parents, they have been reading to me. The woman lying down there is my mother, and the little boy with the white, with the white clothes, that's me as an infant, not even a month old. Thanks to my parents, I grew a love for reading. At that time, obviously, I didn't understand a thing that was going on. But later on, I began to slowly comprehend what was going on. And by the age of five, I was reading books. This is a picture from when I used to live in Nepal. The boy sitting next to me is my best friend, Sean. I started to check out books in the library, and the first book I ever checked out, I don't remember the name, but I'm pretty sure it had ketchup in the title. Reading made me like writing. At the age of eight and a half, how many of you can say that you had an idea for a book? Well, after reading a book named Diary of a Wimpy Kid, it inspired me to start writing my own novel. But writing is not an easy thing that you just write and then you have the idea the next day. It takes dedication and concentration. It took me two years to think of the idea and finish writing this book. When about, I think, 20, 2014 is when I started getting this idea in around April. Originally, it was much shorter and it had a lot more pictures. After two chapters, I decided, no, I don't want this idea. I don't think it will work. Then I threw it away, and then I started working on other ideas. A few months later, in the month of August, I decided to say, OK, maybe I should try this idea again. And due to help with my friends and family, I committed myself. It's not easy to write and be a full-time student at the same time. I usually find time to write during weekends, holidays, or when I'm not doing homework. It took me a year to finish writing this, but it's worth it when you see the end result. That's me try pushing myself and trying to persevere to write my book. And this is me with the finished product. So how many of you have a passion? It doesn't have to be writing. It can be sports, music, drama, anything. How many of you has a passion, something that you really love doing? Well, don't just sit on it. Nurture it. Get some help with it. It might take a long time, but the end result will be worth it. As you can see, I started reading for as long as I can remember. From there, all the way to publishing my own, writing my own book, which I now plan to publish by the end of this year, the road is not yet finished, but I have achieved quite a lot. Thank you for listening.